Nosivia Mapisa Ngakula has been elected as the new Speaker of the National Assembly. While her uh, victory was expected, the former Defence Minister's rise to the position has certainly been controversial. Civil society organisation, the New Nation Movement, tried to halt the election and actually served a letter to Parliament with reasons why they believe that Mapisa Ngakula should not be elected as the Speaker. In fact, they've even threatened to take the matter up in court should the election go ahead. So. The morning after, let's have that conversation. New Nation Movement's co-founder, um, Mkangeli Matomela, joins us now via our video link to share more on what their plan uh, of action looks like. Uh, Mkangeli, it's great to see you. Thanks for making time to talk to us. Before we speak about what happens next, perhaps let me just gauge in your words what you were hoping to actually achieve with that letter, considering that the numbers were stacked against you, and procedurally speaking, not even the acting speaker at the time could actually stop this election from going ahead. Uh, good morning, uh, South Africa. I thank you, you for welcoming me in your homes. This is very, very important for our democracy as South Africans. The reason why we had to take this action after we were approached by some leaders uh, from our society, it is because we want to make a contribution to strengthen our democracy. Key here is about the role of citizens, the role of parliament, the role of the executive, the judiciary, and Chapter 9 institutions, and all of us as South Africans. What we must understand is that the Constitution reserves rights for everyone who is a citizen of South Africa. I mean everyone. In the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, that is the word running through our Constitution. Now, if you consider what has been happening since 1994 to date. This is the time to review how our system or democratic system has been working so that we can improve on it. Now, the responsibility of appointing speaker is the responsibility of parliament. The constitution is very clear about that. But mm. in this instance, it is the president who announced that uh, the candidate for the ANC, uh, in his own words, of course, said uh, the minister will be deployed elsewhere. And it became clear that uh, when we heard uh, from you as journalists that it was going to be uh, the speaker, the current speaker, uh, Mamu Ngagola. Therefore, the president announcing the appointment of a speaker as a mother of principle is totally out of order. And he was not announcing that as a president of the ANC. He was announcing that as the president of the country because he was reshuffling his cabinet. Okay. So I in the same vein, yeah. if I can he come in announced the speaker. Gotcha. That is the problem. Many people will obviously see things differently. I don't want to really get into how we interpret the president's words because I imagine there are other people on the other side of that debate who might say that actually the president didn't say verbatim that he is moving Nosifio Mapisa Ngakula to the position of Speaker of Parliament. I'm interested in your strategy, though, nonetheless. I mean, you went ahead and wrote a letter uh, to the acting speaker, Date Tinodi, I think knowing very well that he actually can't do much in, in terms of stopping the election itself from taking place. Do you think this was the best way of going about raising your concern, knowing, according to many, that you are destined to fail? This was the right strategy because in terms of the Constitution, it's the Parliament which is supposed to elect a Speaker. Now, we had to go to the office of the deputy speaker to raise our concern, not only on the issues of uh, uh, character, 
allegations of corruption and uh, failure to respond to uh, questions to Parliament, but on this uh, uh, procedural matter of uh, the overreach of the executive, which has been happening over many years. It, now we know that uh, they ignored uh, our letter. We are considering taking this matter to the highest court of the land. Okay, on what basis are you bringing that matter to court? Get us through, if you like, the thrust of the argument that you're going to be making legally here. Our argument is that uh, for a long time, this has been happening. Let me take you back to 2008, when the ANC removed the former president, Becky, from office. He did not violate any ANC code of conduct, any constitutional provision, or his code of conduct as president, but he was removed from power for fact, political factional reasons. So that was irrational on the part of the ANC to do. Unfortunately, as citizens of South Africa, all of us, we allowed this to go on, and it is catching up with us as a nation. Now, people are removed from office for political factional reasons, and as such, destabilizing the whole nation. If it was not because of the maturity and statesmanship of former President Mbeki, South Africa would have been, uh, you know, launched into a very difficult and uh, uh, constitutional uh, upheaval, if I might put it that way. So this is what we are trying to stop. We are going to start our argument there. Right. So there is a lot of evidence throughout these years which points to the effect that the party outside and the executive is undermining the legislature. That basically, that is what we are going to say. So the decision of the uh, deployment committee of the ANC must have valid reasons, and they must uh, indicate to us why, what is the motivation, because effectively he was removed from that office and he is taken to a higher office. Okay, we'll effectively have to leave it there. rendering right. parliament as a dumping place. Got you. I think the thrust of your argument is made, and I think will be received in whatever ways people interpret it. For now, I have to thank you for your time uh, and uh, leave it there for now. Mkangeli Matomela is the New Nation Movement's co-founder. They're saying they're going ahead with their plans to challenge essentially how the ANC is conducting its business when it comes to uh, the people that they deploy to Parliament. They're taking it to the highest court in the land. I wonder what the prospects of success there is. You've got, I guess, the thrust of the argument that they're hoping to make, and we'll keep watching that story for you as it continues to unfold.